endobronchial ultrasound guided transbronchial needle aspiration for staging of non small cell lung cancer. Minimally invasive techniques for tissue biopsy, such as endobronchial ultrasound guided transbronchial needle aspiration, have gained popularity due to their ability to expedite treatment for patients while minimizing pain and complications associated with more invasive procedures, such as metastinoscopy and thoracoscopy. EBUS TBNA combines conventional bronchoscopy techniques and ultrasound imaging to provide surgeons with a novel method of tissue sampling that is associated with reduced morbidity compared to metastinoscopy dinoscopy, which is the current gold standard for mediastinal lymph node staging. In addition to having a reported sensitivity ranging from 90 to 98 percent in identifying nodal metastasis in the setting of lung cancer, EBUS TBNA is advantageous because it is safe, cost-effective, and can be used in patients who are poor surgical candidates or who have pathologic processes that do not require surgical intervention, such as lymphoma. EBUS TBNA provides access to several lymph node stations that are otherwise difficult or impossible to access with conventional metastinoscopy. This technique is useful for lung cancer staging or restaging after neoadjuvant chemotherapy, especially if the patient had a metastinoscopy prior to neoadjuvant therapy. Despite its popularity and advantages for clinician and pathologists, EBUS TBNA has some challenges. Variation in needle aspiration yields may be related to multiple factors, including surgeon expertise and differences in size and location of the target lymph node, while endobronchial ultrasonography provides visualization of target tissue. Biopsy potential may be maximized with improvement of transbronchial needle aspiration skill. Unlike mediastinoscopy, EBUS requires the surgeon to share the airway with the anesthesiologist, which may cause limited field of view from the camera and limited flexibility of the bronchoscope. These challenges can be overcome with additional training and EBUS TBNA technique. Our patient was an 81-year-old man with a heterogeneous, well-circumscribed left lower lobe mass found on chest CT. He had a 60-pack year smoking history but recently quit. He had no fever, night sweats, nor unintentional weight loss. His past medical history was significant for hypertension, peripheral vascular disease, and degenerative joint disease. He had no family history of cancer. His workup included a CT scan demonstrating a heterogeneous, well-circumscribed left lower lobe mass adjacent to the hilum measuring 2.4 cm by 2.5 cm concerning for non-small cell lung cancer. PET scan showed a 2.9 cm by 3 cm hypermetabolic left lower lobe mass with max SUV of 17.5, which was consistent with a primary lung cancer. A 1.1 cm by 1.6 cm subcrinal lymph node was also appreciated with a max SUV of 3.9. Incidentally, extensive emphysematous changes were noted bilaterally. Brain MRI demonstrated no evidence of intracranial metastasis. The clinical stage was T1B N2M0. Given the need for tissue diagnosis and to complete clinical staging, the patient elected to undergo flexible bronchoscopy with endobronchial ultrasound guided fine needle aspiration biopsy of the primary lesion and mediastinal staging. Endobronchial ultrasound and needle setup. Place the biopsy needle through the working channel and secure the needle on the scope. Push the connecting slider to the lock position until it clicks. Use the needle adjuster to set the needle depth, for example, 2 cm as shown in this demonstration. Once the target area is visualized in the ultrasound image, unlock the sheath adjuster knob and adjust the sheath to be visualized in the endoscopic view. Tighten the screw. Pulling back on the stylet exposes the tip of the needle. To biopsy, move the needle slider back and forth in the target area several times while your assistant removes the stylet.
When finished, retract the needle into the sheath until it clicks. Push the lever to lock the needle adjuster. After the scope is in neutral position, release the connecting slider to unlock the needle and remove the unit from the scope. This procedure may also be performed with suction. For suction, attach the prepared syringe on the aspiration port and turn the stopcock to the parallel position on the syringe. To release suction, turn the stopcock to the perpendicular position and remove the syringe from the aspiration port. Prior to eBus TPNA, a thorough examination of the airway was performed using standard bright light bronchoscopy for inspection of the tracheal and endobronchial anatomy, clearance of secretions, and to identify endobronchial lesions. Ultrasound evaluation of the mediastinum and lymph node targets was performed using the endobronchial ultrasound. Color flow Doppler imaging was used to ensure that the needle did not puncture vascular structures. Next, a plastic sheath was advanced until visible on the bronchoscopic view. The biopsy needle was deployed rapidly through the bronchial wall and into the target tissue via a jabbing motion. After needle insertion was complete, cells were drawn into the needle using capillary action. Our patient's left lower lobe and subcranial lymph node biopsy was consistent with squamous cell carcinoma. Our patient experienced no intraoperative or postoperative complications and was discharged on the same day. This case was presented in Multidisciplinary Tumor Board to discuss definitive chemoradiation therapy versus induction therapy followed by surgery. Given the central location of the mass and the possible need for pneumonectomy, for which he was not a candidate, our patient was advised to undergo definitive chemoradiation therapy.